Hi everybody, I'm Kaiwaza. Welcome back to my channel and as we continue through the letter W looking at my Hawaiian vinyl record collection. I'm going through the whole collection at one album at a time. It's going to take 677 videos or something like that. I don't know. We have a long way to go. We've just started on the letter W and I love the letter W not just because it means whatever but because uh, there are lots of artists, musical artists, that I really like that fall under the letter W. So let's get started looking at some more Hawaiian vinyl. All right, time for more music. Today, this one first, the Waikiki Guitars, Tiny Bubbles, Hawaiian Favorites. So much to talk about on this album. We'll keep it limited, but how much do I love this cover? Can I tell you? that these are obviously plastic flowers, molded plastic. Remember, before there were silk flowers, there were molded plastic flowers. These are molded plastic flowers, and her, uh, this Asian girl, whatever, standing in front of them. Look at the titles on these uh, songs. Hawaiian Moods, Love in Oahu, Blossoms of Lehehua, <laughs> Love in Poa Kalao, Hawaiian flower waves. I mean, these are awesome. And, uh, okay, this is from the Apple Power. I'm overwhelmed. I'm beclamped. I don't know what to say. Uh, by the Power Apple Honey series. Now, they did some other records that, when we do H, by the Honolulu Guitars, which is the same group. They just changed the name for this one. And some of these are the same songs. Now, Tiny Bubbles is under its real name, but what's kind of cool about this group is, I don't know who they are, whatever, but they are rocking it out like 1960s Hawaiian style, watching the wildlife golf tournament or the Brady Bunch go to Waikiki Beach, that kind of really groovy, groovy stuff with a saxophone. Uh, I mean, this just rocks it's so and and they choose their title tracks these actually are not original compositions what's so interesting is their actual hawaiian songs that they just retitle like maui chimes or paoa kalani um uh, sweet lele hua all of these are 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 real hawaiian songs most of them from the 1800s that they've just jazzed up and turned into these super brady bunch kind of things and uh I am just, cannot tell you how much I am loving the Waikiki guitars and the Honolulu guitars, which are the same group that did uh, like three other albums. Just love this crap. Love it. Okay. Uh, next, we come back to back to the islands for some uh, local music on the Tradewinds label. This is Nelson Waikiki Ukulele Stylist available only in Hawaii. She did not sell, the woman that ran this label did not sell her albums or export them out to the mainland. You can only buy them when you were here visiting or living here. Um, Nelson Waikiki doing ukuleles solos backed up by the Maui uh, Serenaders. And there is a second album by Nelson Waikiki which was called the second Nelson Waikiki album. Also available only in Hawaii. And actually on this one, side one is Nelson Waikiki doing ukulele music. Side two, uh, Kani Nahaku on accordion is featured. And, uh, It's uh, actually, I, I shouldn't just say side one or side two. It's uh, this is Nelson Waikiki recording with the uh, Maui Hawaiians a little more, you know, more prominently on the album. But it's uh, there's some, this is the one that's got, there are some vocals on this, are there? Oh. No, maybe not. It's another one they did. Okay, this instrumentals, but there's uh, this guy on the accordion as well. So. Those two, I actually used to work with somebody in a coffee shop years ago who, uh, Nelson Waikiki was his uncle, his late uncle. Then we come to an album, interesting album, uh, from Tiffany Stereo. Don't, I'm not familiar with this label at all. Hawaiian Magic by the Waikiki Islanders. A nice picture of 
Waimea Bay there where they have some surfing. It's very flat in this picture, but a lot of times they have big waves out there. This is a nice album. It is sort of typical, your typical Hawaiian guitar with, I think, flute, a little ukulele, very kind of normal sounding Hawaiian music. Couple, several, few original compositions on here. This is a nice record. I enjoy it. Uh, don't know anything about the artist. Copyright 1960. But what's interesting is I there's another version of it out here that I have. This is called Hawaiian Serenade. This is exactly the same album, musically. Exactly the same album. Very shiny cover. Now here they say the artists are the Clive Allen Orchestra. And this maybe was some kind of a weird series because it says here again is a selection of the current charts, ballads, and pop to suit all tastes in popular music. These are cover versions of the hits sung and played for you by the Clive Allen Orchestra and singers. I mean, obviously these are not, you know, the hits of the day, so I don't know what's going on with that. I guess these guys did like cover versions of pop songs and maybe this was in that series or Avenue Records, who knows? I mean, it's kind of a budget thing here, so who knows? They may have just used this liner note from some other record they had hanging around. But anyway, these are the same two records. Clive Allen Orchestra, Waikiki Islanders, take your pick. I'm going with Waikiki Islanders for the record. Uh, here's an interesting record. Hawaiian Beach Party. This one is comes out of Germany. Love the cover, right? Again, it's a very glossy, shiny picture. This is by the Waikiki Party Band and the Hilo Singers. Yeah, I bet none of whom have probably ever set foot on the shore of Hawaii in their life, but that's okay. EMI Odeon out of Germany, and these are medleys of a kind of music that was sort of popular. Uh, I don't have the date on this, but in the 70s, I think... A lot of happy music, late 60s, Ray Conniff, um, those kind of people doing like James Last, you know, happy clapping songs. And this is medleys of songs, Hawaiian songs, and they're with the singers in German and uh, Hawaiian guitars and sort of an orchestra. And it's all very happy, happy, clappy, clappy, ABBA-esque sort of stuff. I'll play you a sample, but uh, yeah, I enjoy this record. Interesting. Next to last, we have the Waikiki Islanders, Hawaii Instrumentally, yours background music for your movies and slides. And they have some slides film going on there to give you the idea. This is performed by the Waikiki Serenaders, and they have suggestions for what you might, what songs you might want to use to go with uh, what kind of selections, what kind of music they have. I don't know if anybody ever actually did that. I want to show you the inside, too. This is on Waikiki Records. It has great inner sleeve. This is all instrumental, and it's very much in the style of popular at the time. I don't know if you're familiar with Benjamin Rogers and the Harmony Isles group that recorded on 49th State, but it's very much that style. The vibraphones opening it up with sweet chords, and it breaks into like a very sweet steel guitar. Back to the vibes. That's what it is. Great record. Uh, finally today, 16 great Hawaiian hits, Hawaiian, misspelled, Volume 2, I don't have Volume 1, this is a uh, Boulevard record made in England, not Hawaiian songs, uh, these are Indonesian songs, uh, most of them sung, uh, I think there's one or two instrumentals maybe, uh, but these are Indonesian songs. Very pretty, with Hawaiian guitar and with people singing in Indonesian. Uh, which was not untypical at the time to find Indonesian songs released as Hawaiian material in Europe. And they perform it in a Hawaiian style with the steel guitar. So I'm sure uh, many people on the continent of Europe would have no clue or, you know, would have no idea that it wasn't actually Hawaiian, you know. Yeah, so anyway, that is, uh, and it's pretty, it's pretty music. Uh, 16 Great Hawaiian Hits, uh, Volume 2. And it's time for us to listen to some uh, musical samples from these plethora of goodies. <laughs> Thank you. 
under the letter W in my Hawaiian record collection. And if you'd like to see more, please subscribe to this channel and give the video a thumbs up. And if you like this, I invite you to go to 8tracks.com and look up Hawaiian Leisure Hour where I have uh, curated playlists of music from the Hawaiian collection. Also, Hawaiian Leisure channel on YouTube, my other channel, which is music from these uh, same Hawaiian records. So, opportunities to hear some music, and I'd love to hear your comments. Please leave that below if you have any of these records or ideas about them or thoughts about them. I'd love to hear from you. Thank you.